Good day. Welcome to another session of Fog Accountancy Tutorials. Today we are going to look at overhead absorption rates. A very simple um, topic <laughs> that I just need to explain to you. And you are going to need that in a lot of job costing and a lot of other topics. Okay, you need to understand how to calculate overhead absorption rates. And these are formulas that I'm going to give you. I'm going to explain and then I'll show you how you can apply them. So I don't want to waste much time. I want to go straight to the point. Now, when it comes to overhead absorption rates, now absorption of overheads is a final stage of overhead at uh, the overhead process. We have overhead collection, classification, they move to allocation, apportionment, and then you come to absorption. When it comes to absorption of overhead, we're actually trying to make a transfer of the overhead incurred to the final buyer or consumer. So we push the overheads incurred into the product cost and then eventually selling price is calculated and then the buyer pays for the overhead. So we try to absorb the total overhead incurred into each job or product. That is what we call overhead absorption. Now, there are so many bases of overhead absorption that we can use. So many bases. I'm going to list them and I'm going to show you how each of them is done now. Basis of absorption of overhead. These are bases that we can use to do overhead absorption. Okay, so we can talk about the direct labor hour rate. We can also talk about the machine hour rate. Okay, and then we can also talk about um, the percentages. So we have, we can talk about the direct labor, uh, direct labor cost percentage. I'm going to explain each of them to you. And then we can talk about the direct material cost percentage. These are percentages. Prime cost percentage. And then finally, we can also talk about the production units as a base. Now, these are six bases of overhead absorption. Now, when we talk about bases, we are talking about the means by which we do this absorption. Okay, now there are so many means and you can use any of them. And when you get any question and you are solving as a student, any of them could be proposed directly or indirectly for you to use in estimation of your production cost or your cost per product. Now, without wasting my time, I want to explain them, beginning with the direct material or direct labor hour rate. So direct labor hour rate. This is where you divide the total overhead by the total direct labor hours. Remember that we are looking at how to absorb the overheads as per unit. And what we are saying is that there will always be a total overhead incurred. Okay? So that total overhead cost that you have incurred, you want to absorb it per unit. And so we are looking at how to get it into the product cost. That is absorbing or transferring it. And we are saying that the first method is the direct labor hour rate, meaning that the total overhead cost will be divided by the total direct labor hours to determine the rate per labor hour. And so the formula for this is your total overhead incurred or budgeted for. It could be total overhead incurred or total overhead budgeted for. Whatever it is, whether it's a budget or it has been incurred, your total overhead over total direct labor hours so total overhead incurred over total direct labor hours and then whatever answer you have is so for example if you're having ten thousand to as your total overheads and then you are having one thousand as your total hours then one thousand hours and then ten thousand ghana cities then it's going to give you ten per hour 10 CD per hour, something like this. So it means that for each unit, it's 10 CD per hour. That is how you are going to use. So depending on the total number of hours that are used for the units, you can get the total overhead that should be absorbed into that product. So this is just the basis. We just want you to understand that whatever total overhead that you have incurred, you divide by the total hours and it gives you 
the rate per hour. So if you are told that for a particular job sheet, the labor hours that we use is, for example, five hours for each unit. If it is five hours, we have already established that it's 10 CD per hour. So if it is five hours, then the total cost for that job is five times 10. And that's going to give us 50 CDs. I don't know if you're understanding. So we are just trying to use these bases to get the rates that should be applied on the total number of hours or whatever that we use in estimating the total production cost per unit. So let me just clean this example. And what I'm focusing on right now is the formulas. Get the formulas and then from there we'll look at a question. And so the formula for direct labor hour rate is your total overhead over the direct labor hours. And then let's also look at the machine hour rates. If you want to absorb based on machine hours and not your human hours, that one is similar to what we just did. The formula is the same total overheads. Remember that all the formulas will begin with total overheads. Because that is actually what we want to establish the rate for. But the denominators will change for each of them. So the simple uh, understanding is that for each of them, the numerator will always be total overheads or budgeted overheads. However, the denominators are going to change to suit each of these things. Remember that when we said it was direct labor hour rate, we use direct labor hours. So if it is machine hour rate, then it will be over total machine hours. So whatever you have is your rate per machine hour. I'm sure you understand now. Then let's look at the third one, which is the direct labor cost percentage. Now, the direct labor cost percentage, we are looking at what percentage of the labor cost, of the direct labor cost, is the overheads. So, that one, your total overheads, all over the total direct labor cost. Please, this one is not direct labor hours. So. This one is direct labor cost. The cost itself, so cost over cost. You understand? Cost over cost. So it's all going to be in currency sign. So your final sign is not going to be in CD because the CD signs will cancel each other or the dollar signs will cancel out each other. Total direct overhead cost. Total direct labor cost. We want to look at what percentage of the direct labor cost is overhead. Or what? So let's assume we have direct labor cost of 1,005. That is your total direct labor cost. And you have total overheads of 500. What percentage of this is that? You see that the total overhead covers about 33.3% of that. So when you divide and you multiply by 100, it's going to give you 33.333, whatever. This is what we are trying to see. So we can conclude that, okay, total overhead is 33% of direct labor costs. That is just something to get you to understand. So what we are trying to say is that the formula is your total overheads over total direct labor cost times 100 because we need this in percentage. Okay. And then let's look at the fourth one, which is also the direct material cost percentage. So it's similar to what we just explained. Direct material, sorry, cost percentage. And that one too, the formula is the same beginning with Total overheads, always as a numerator. And then all over, this time it will not be direct labor cost. It will be total direct material cost. And remember, this is also in a currency, not in hours. So times 100. The same way we want to establish what percentage of your overheads or what percentage of your material cost is the overhead. Yes. So that is how to get the direct material cost percentage as a basis for overhead absorption. And then we'll look at the fifth one as the prime cost percentage, which is also similar to what we have done. We want to look at what percentage of your prime cost is the overhead incurred. And for that one also, we are going to get that is also the same total overheads that is budgeted or incurred all over the prime cost. And this is also CDs or dollar over dollar. So times 100, the answer will be in a percentage. And once we have this, 
we look at the last one, which is the production unit. This time, we want to look at the relationship or the, the total overhead per production unit or the total units produced. So that one is going to be total overheads all over the production, total production units. So if your total overheads is, let's say, 3,000 and you produce 1,000, then you, it means it's three CDs per unit. That is 3,000 over 1,000 will give you three CDs per unit. So these are the common basis for overhead absorption. I am sure this is very understandable for you. Okay. So without wasting my time, let us solve this question. Srodai Manufacturing Company Limited has presented to you the following factory cost of its production for the month of January. So we have direct material cost 60,000 Ghana cities. Direct labor cost is 90,000 Ghana cities. Factory overhead is 30,000 Ghana cities. You are given the following additional information. Direct labor hours is 1,500 hours. Machine hours, 3,000 hours. Total units to be produced, 1,000 units. You are required to calculate the six overhead absorption rate by which the company will be able to absorb its overheads. All right, so I gave you six formulas and this is the six that we are going to calculate. So we're going to begin. Now, you've been given the, the main, remember that for every formula that we will use, the total overheads will be the numerator. That is the, and the total overheads in this question is 30,000. That is the factory overhead figure you see there. So that is the 30,000. So for each formula, 30,000 is going to be on top. And then we are going to divide by the others that we are giving, depending on the basis that we are calculating. So let's begin with the direct material, uh, direct labor hour rate. So that direct labor hour rate. Now, the formula for, now in exam, you always have to quote the formula before you calculate. Now the formula is your total overhead or your factory overhead over the direct labor hours. So the total overhead in the question is 30,000 Ghana CDs. And then the total direct labor hours as we are given is 1,500 hours. Therefore, the overhead absorption rate is 20 CDs per direct labor hour. This is how to go about it. 20 CDs per hour. Then you are done with the first one. As easy as this. I don't think there is any other thing as easy as what I've taught you right now. <laughs> then we move to the second one. Let's calculate for direct machine hour rate or just machine hour rate. Now, if we want to calculate the machine hour rate, the formula is total overhead all over machine hours. Now, in this question, we repeat the same thing. The total overhead here is 30,000 Ghana CD. And the machine hours per the question is 3,000 hours. 3,000 machine hours. Therefore, the rate will be 10 CDs per machine hour, as simple as ABC. I'm sure this is very understandable. So let's move on to another one. Let's look at the percentages. Direct labor percentage rate. So third formula. Direct labor percentage rate. Now, as usual, the formula will always begin with the total overhead to be used all over direct labor costs. This time is the cost, not the hours, times 100. So therefore, the total overheads in the question is 30,000 Ghana CDs. And then we can see that the total labor cost is 90,000 from the question. 90,000 times 
100. And that is also going to give us 33.3%. This time it will be in percentages. Remember, I told you that this is not going to be in CDs because the currencies will cancel each other. Therefore, this is 33%. I am sure this is not difficult. So let's move to the fourth formula. This time, let's find for the material percentage. So direct material cost or percentage, yeah, cost percentage rate. So that is going to be the total overhead as usual, which will always be the first over your total direct material costs, not the hours, the costs times 100, not the hours, the cost. So therefore, we have 30,000 as the total overhead. And when we look at the total direct material cost in this question, it is 60,000 Ghana cities. So 60,000 times 100. And that's going to give us 50%. That is half. So the direct material cost rate is 50%. This is as easy as ABC. And I don't expect you to be confused over this. All right. Then we move to the fifth one. Let's look at the prime cost rate. So prime cost percentage rate. And as usual, the formula begins with total overheads all over prime cost times 100. Now, what is the value of prime cost in the question? Prime cost was not given, but we were given material cost and labor cost. So when we combine direct material cost and direct labor cost, we have a prime cost. The direct material cost is 60,000. Direct labor cost is 90,000. So if you want to determine your prime cost, it's going to be direct material cost of 60,000 plus your direct labor cost of 90,000. And that is 150,000 Ghana cities. So that is how to determine the prime cost. So therefore, the rate is going to be 30,000 as usual, which is the overhead, all over 150,000 Ghana cities times 100. So therefore, the prime cost rate is 20%. And this is very understandable. And then finally, we look at the production units. Production unit rates. So that one, the formula, total overheads again, all over the total units produced. And then from the question, the total overhead, 30,000, and the units produced from the question is 1,000 units. Therefore, the absorption rate is 30 CDs per unit. So ladies and gentlemen, this is all about overhead absorption rates calculations. These are not to be used on its own. We use them in determining cost of production and all that. But it is important that I dedicate a video to teach you how to calculate this so that when you get to those job costing and then batch costing, production cost estimations, you will be able to apply them there. So this will bring us to the end of our video on overhead absorption rate. Remember to subscribe to this channel, share this video, and let others also have a benefit. Until we meet again for another video, it's bye for now. Thank you.